Hello there, I'm Egil, Egil Thorson. I'm a trader, storyteller and runecaster, to name but a few things. Now, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to tell you a tale about a cat and the fox. Now, cats have a special place in Norse mythology. The goddess Freya has a chariot drawn by cats. And there are stories told about these animals uh, for their cunning, their beauty, and how sleek they are. And let's face it, most farms had a cat to catch vermin. I could have done one myself, actually. Uh, only we're not allowed animals. That's by the by. So, the story of the cat. I'd like to dedicate this to a friend of mine. She's now in Valhalla. Cat, if you're watching from up there, this is for you. Once upon a time, long, long ago, back in the midst of time, there was a cat and a forest and a fox and a bear. The cat was up a tree looking down very nervously and the fox caught, caught the gaze and I say, feline, what are you doing up that tree, you preposterous little creature? I didn't, and I. From what, might I ask? How did you get up there? Come on, speak, pussycat. Well, I was on a farm. We were doing okay. And then things started to go wrong. Crops failed. The eldest son ran away, raiding out west. And... The farmer and his wife were getting really, really poor. And they said, we're going to have to start eating our stock soon. We'll start with that cat. So, of course, <laughs> I'm not stupid, mate. I went and I upped it. And uh, why up a tree? That's my main defence, mate. It's going up a tree. Oh, feline, foolish feline. How stupid you can be. There are a hundred ways of avoiding danger. I should know. I've mastered them all. Yeah? Well, if you come and serve with me as my servant, you will learn all about my wily ways. You what? Wily ways. Do you not speak English, pussycat? Yeah, that's the trouble I do. All right, then. The cat came down. All of a sudden, there was a roar, and a cat zipped up a tree. And the bear, that had appeared from nowhere, had bitten hard on the shoulder of the fox. Oh, goodness me, what do you, what do you mean by doing this? You beastly bruin, why are you biting me so? I may only have one trick, mate, but it works. I'll show you. Oh, bear, why do you do this? After I've been so faithful to you all these years, through thick and thin. The bear looks at the cat. The cat looked at the bear. They both looked at the fox. And the bear opened his mouth in display. You what? Yes, said the fox. Oh, I don't believe it, mate, said the bear. You are the most trickiest person I ever know. I'm off. And with that, the bear went off. You see, said the fox, brain power beats beef every time. So come along, pussycat, out the tree and follow me. The cat did. And from that day to this, the cat followed the fox, learning all of his tricks. And that is the end of that. <coughs> now, then, if you've enjoyed this story, which I hope you have, don't forget to touch the uh, subscription bell in the corner. Leave us a comment because we'd love to hear from you. We will get back to you. It does take time, uh, what, one thing or another, but we certainly will get back to you. And I hopefully will get back to you with another story at another time. Until we meet again, I sail.